And every day I'll vlog, yes, every day I'll vlog with my friends. My friends are real cool too. And every day I'll vlog, every day I'll vlog in my house. It'll all be on YouTube. So please watch the vlog. The vlog. This this is a vlog. What is going on guys? So today is another day. It is vlog number 11. I can't even talk. I thought that would be funny. That's not that funny. But yeah, so we're gonna have some fun today. I think I have more of a clue of what we're doing today, but you guys will see. I guess you can probably see from the thumbnail. Anyways, say hello, buddy. Buddy, you gotta say hi. Not don't eat. Buddy said dog, and Buddy should have said hi. I'm sorry about that, guys. He's still learning. He can't. Oh, oh my goodness, Buddy, you gotta be kidding me. So, anyways, we're about to go to Buddy's segment. Buddy's bit, as I called it yesterday. But, anyways, here we go, guys. It's gonna be great. He's gonna go poop, and he's gonna pee, and it's, he's gonna get a treat, and that's gonna be awesome. So, here we go. What's up, guys? It's the Bootifer segment. Booty's bit. Booty's bit, Bootifer. Are you excited for Booty's bit? Buddy. I, s I swear he might be excited. I'm not completely positive if he is, but he may be. He may be excited. So, buddy, say hello. It was a really long time of him just standing there doing nothing, and he's still just standing there doing nothing. You gotta go potty, buddy. Buddy, you gotta go potty. What are you doing? You're a potty animal. You are a potty animal, buddy. Why can't you gotta go go take a take a poop or a pee? Oh, I think he's about to do it. I think he's about to do it. Oh, look at him. There he goes. He's smelling. He's smelling. Smelling, still smelling. Found a bone. He found a bone, he's not gonna pee now. So he's definitely just found a bone. I think he's trying to figure out how to chew it. Can't tell if he's trying to figure out how to chew it or pee on it. I don't I don't know. Maybe if we're really quiet, he'll do something. Probably not. He's Budafer, so who knows. He's Budafer, so who knows. Oh, kill it, kill it, booty. I have no clue what he's doing right now. Do you have any clue what you're doing, buddy? He has no clue what he's doing either. But anyways, guys, let's see if he likes to play with Shammy. We got Shammy right there. Maybe he wants to give it a shot to play with Shammy. Let's see, I'm gonna try. Shammy, Shammy. Shammy, buddy? Go get Shammy. He, he's not interested. He's not interested at all. Doesn't even care about Shammy. That's it. That's it, buddy. I'm not even happy. Cause you don't care about Shammy, and Shammy was wow, you know? Shammy wow. Buddy, what the heck? In? Shammy wow, dude. Goodness gracious. Anyways, guys, uh, I guess that might be it for the Budifer segment, because Budifer is a little tootifer and doesn't want to go and play with Shammy. So, anyways, guys, I'm going to go. I'll talk to you all later. Peace Punch, Cabin Crunch, Brick Wall Waterfall. Girl, you think you know it all. I can't believe I remember that from like middle school. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm gonna go. I'll see you guys in, well, I'll see you guys in less than half a second, and you guys will see me in less than half a second. Okay, guys, so I am here with Paul and Jonathan. There might be a smudge on the screen. Sorry about that. Sorry. So, Paul here was a model for Abercrombie & Fitch. Are you still a model for Abercrombie & Fitch? No, that was just a little week in New York. A little week, year, five years, ten years. He, it was, okay, it was a week, but, but he was a model, regardless. <laughs> Abercrombie & Fitch is pretty big, so he's gonna teach me some uh, modeling posts poses, actually. I was, I was gonna be a modeling contest at first, and I was like, eh, you know, I'm not that great, but here, teach me and Jonathan some models. Yeah, trust right. what you do. You, you know, you got the height already, so you got one up on me. <laughs> got <laughs> He's got his beat. I was always like the shortest model, because I did do a lot of modeling for years. Pretty much always the shortest. I would beat some of the girls, but... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just a few of the girls. Not not every single one of them, though. They took their heels off. I'm an actor. We're never short. <laughs> yeah, they're not short. I'm just abnormally tall, but actually, it's, it's funny, because I'm actually the runt of my family, at least the guys in my family, so my brother's 6'11. And the tallest person at auditions. Probably, yeah. Yeah. Well, every actor in Hollywood is about five foot three. So <laughs> that's that's pretty pretty true, actually. I wish I was lying. Okay, they're not five foot three, they're five foot four and a and quarter. A three quarters. And three quarters. So they're getting up there. They're getting up there. But anyways, we need some tips. I'm sure you want some so you want I, some I tips. Want right? some, yeah. I mean when I first started them all and I would just like stare straight ahead and try to look really serious. I thought that worked. Does um, does that work? Is that what they say? <laughs> No, I don't recommend doing that. Yeah. It's kind of similar to acting, to be honest. I mean, you just, you know, you want to like, the, you know, think of something, have something like, I don't know if it's a substitution or whatever, whatever the tone is. Um, unless you want to do Zoolander, which is always fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What do you, what do, you do, do with your dramatic turn? What, yeah. What's your personal call look? Do you have like a Vandervoort model <laughs> yeah. look? Like, is it like Vandervoort? Vanderbilt. It's yeah. like the Zoolander. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. My, my look is kind of just like, you know, I don't care, but, but I really care, so. <laughs> Hey, how's it going? I can do The that. camera melted already. I see, and the camera it's already lit on fire. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. Sorry guys. I got I got this though. Hey, how's it going? How's it how's it is it going? 
Good. Pretty good, right? Gotta leave them uh, one yeah, more. That was yeah, good. Yeah, that was good. Great. Yeah. Good. Sweet. Awesome. Yeah. The, you know the smoldering look. Sm mm -hmm. Oh, it's because you kind of remind me of the guy from Tangled. You know, <laughs> you it's look the hair now. The hair never used to be this long. I mean, you you kind of do. I he had the smolder. He I mean, I didn't hit you in the head with a pan, but like it's, it's yeah. still pretty good. But anyways, it's Jonathan's turn. Give it a shot. Oh, that's good. That's <laughs> that's good. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Okay. Okay. So uh, so they're both better at it than me, uh, but that's okay. I'll give it one more shot. I got this. I'll do the Zoolander actually, just like. Oh, that's good. Can I stop a shuriken throwing star now? You know, I think you might be able to. Here, throw a throwing star at my face. You guys actually are looking for a throwing star? You guys are like, oh shoot, hold on, let me pull it out of my pocket. I mean, you, if you want to throw a credit card at me too, that's, that's fine, as long as you're okay with like, not getting it back, but. <laughs> Just take it, run. But uh, yeah, so. Guys, I'm a model now. Abercrombie and Fitch or Hollister, hit me up. And Jonathan as well. I see that? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, that's what I'm, oh. Stuart Little who? That didn't make as much sense coming out of my mouth as it did in my mind. <laughs> so, anyways guys, I'll see you guys in a second. I'll hop right in the middle. Okay, what is up guys? So I'm here with Paul and Jonathan, and we are gonna be reacting to Jonathan's old movie clips. You guys might recognize him, maybe not, because he's a little bit older now, from Jerry Maguire or Stuart Little. I knew you were from Stuart Little, I didn't know Jerry Maguire at all. And then Paul, you might recognize him from Abercrombie and Fitch, possibly, maybe, maybe, I don't know. A little bit older maybe. as well. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's okay, I'm getting older every day, so it happens, you know, yeah. so. But anyway, Anyways guys, I need you guys to go subscribe to their channel. They are awesome. They just started a vlog channel. The link's gonna be down in the description below. So go click that description and subscribe. Click the description and subscribe. I got tongue tied, sorry about that. But anyways, I think we're gonna get into the video. I don't have my laptop because I didn't find my laptop cord. So we're gonna be using a phone. All right. Are you nervous? Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go. How old were you? Uh, I was five. You were five? Holy cow. Now, did they have anything actually played through the phone? I'm trying to remember. I don't think. I think I just. You must the, I think the size of the phone is like the size of all of me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I feel like that was half the phones back in like. This was yeah. in the 90s, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cell phones were. Well, that must have been crazy. Yeah. Is this like a trip to you? Yeah, man, it's so funny. You look at little things like the funniest things people like, do remember stories. You remember this? You know, I remember is like little things like that T-shirt. Like, like I'll remember. Oh, I remember that T-shirt. Like you remember the the smell of a T-shirt. Like the look of like shoes you wore. Like oh, I liked those shoes. But like, I mean, you were also five yeah. at the time, so it's like it's interesting the it's, things to remember. <laughs> it's it's like I, I don't, do I remember anything when I was five? Oh my goodness, I'm getting too old. I gotta go to bed. <laughs> I still do that. Okay. Still do that. Like, gotta, <laughs> gotta go to bed. <laughs> so was all that you have all the lines memorized, or was some of that like improvised? Oh, uh, some of like just playing around in the scene, and then some was you know some some of the lines were written. But like the human head weighs eight pounds, that was more of like an improv. And they kept a lot of it playful. Oh, that's super cool. Yeah. That's super cool. Did you ever have like uh, did you ever have like anxiety when you were a kid to memorize lines? You were probably like no. You know what's funny? I feel like now I have that more because I feel yeah. like I'm like ah oh, suck in the scene or yeah, I don't really worry about it. But you know, like auditions, I can get a little nervous now, or on set, like the first day especially, I get oh, nervous. Oh, yeah. I get really nervous. So, more so now. As a kid, I think you're just playful and you're free. You know, it's awesome. That's why a lot of kids, like you look at Stranger Things, those kids are so good. I kind of wish I started when I was a kid. Yeah. I've been great. I had the worst anxiety when I first started auditioning. This is the scariest thing. Actually, my first audition was the show that we were on. And, wow, uh, you booked it. I didn't do good in the audition, yeah. though. I did horrible in the audition. Um, but they knew me from Vine, so thank you, social media. Great, awesome, sweet. So that was one. Half the searches in here are Jonathan Lipnicki abs. Jonathan Lipnicki, uh, glow up or something like that. Glow up, I'll, I'll take it, man. I'll take the compliments. Because <laughs> I definitely went through the most like extended awkward phase from like 12 to 19. It's like the longest, like. Yeah, no, I know, I know the feeling. I went from 12 to 15. And then I, I like skipped a few years with the awkward stage. I was like 16 to about 20, I was good. And then I got just even more awkward after 20. So yeah. I just kind of regressed. <laughs> I kind of went back to 12. Yeah. Oh, this is, oh, I know. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, man. Kill it. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> the one she was shooting. Oh on no. Well. Yeah. Yeah, that's embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> Off to do that history homework you owe me since yesterday. It's not gonna do it. Wasn't that like bow out? Bow out? Yeah, I was you like. Do you know anything about these shoes right here? Man, I'm that thing sure. is a kid. Oh wow. Yeah, he was young. Well, the guy who dropped them off said they used to belong to some famous basketball player. Well, obviously he was a per wait, wait, hold on. When he was a kid. <laughs> oh, when he was a kid. Okay, I was like, he wouldn't be fitting those now. I was like, yeah. <laughs> he had really tiny feet. Wait, was yeah. it? Uh, so would that like transfer the abilities of Michael Michael Jordan into the shoes even when he was a kid? You know? Yeah. I like, think so. Didn't he get cut from his high school basketball team? But he should have been like less as good. I remember being really floppy. Like I'm like. It lasted through puberty. I, I started growing a lot at like 10, and I think that's what it was, was because I remember the blooper reel on here was like 90% just me falling. Like oh, randomly, really? it'd be like, all of a sudden you see me fall out of frame, like I trip over my own feet. <laughs> like I had really big, like I think I had the same size feet I did then than I do now. Did you fit the shoes? No, it wasn't a perfect fit for me. Dang it! <laughs> you could have been like Mike. Yeah, but I wasn't, I was just like Murph. Like <laughs> <laughs> okay, well I think that's a good enough amount of stuff. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. But anyways guys, remember, go check out their channel. They're killing it. They're posting vlogs every couple of days. That's right. It's not every day, bro, but it's every couple of days. Every couple of days, bro. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. It's <laughs> got it. Watch out, Jake Paul. Actually, okay, never mind. <laughs> Watch out, world. People. World. Watch out. Here they go. Yeah, awesome. Okay. Anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next clip. <laughs> okay, guys, that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, remember to like, subscribe, and comment, and hit that bell to turn on my post notifications so you never miss when I post, because I post every single day, and you could, you could very well miss it if you don't have the bell on. Anyways, it is time for the video shout out. Shout out to you, Julie. You had my Instagram post notifications on. Thank you so much. You are the real MVP. You're, you're the real one. If you want to be tomorrow's video shout out, all you got to do is go to Instagram, turn on my post notifications, take a screenshot showing me that you turn on my notifications, and you could be tomorrow's shout out. Yes. If you want to increase your chances, you can go and like some of my recent photos. Also, you can go to my Twitter and tweet me showing me that you turned on my Instagram post notifications too, and that will also increase your chances. So yeah, multiple ways to get your chances increased to be a shout out, and yeah. Anyways though, that's gonna be it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I don't know what else to say. As always, I'm really bad at outros, but you guys have a great day, and bye-bye. Uh, very dull and kinda cool, my friends are pretty great. I just really like the fact that my bros help me get dates. They taught me how to whip, and how to do the nay-nay, and even when they're gone,